good afternoon everyone uh, next topic is uh, expression for electric conductivity uh, electric conductivity and uh, it is represented by sigma and uh, s unit is found to be simon per meter uh, when a conductor is subjected to an electric field or when a potential difference is applied across two ends maintained the free electrons move into the positive direction of the applied field the velocity of electron is proportional to the magnitude of a applied field that is a more number of electrons pass through the unit area of the conductor so the quantity of in current increases for this uh, let us consider the e, e is a applied electric field and small e is the charge of the electron and m is the mass of the electron v is the velocity of the electron at a given temperature and l is the length of the rod uh, the force of ele each electron is given by plus e uh, then uh, according to the newton second law f is equal to ma and this will become uh, ma is the force and that is equal to e e then uh, a is nothing but the acceleration and that is taken as a d square x divided by dt square then uh, force will become m into d square x divided by dt square that is equal to plus e e then uh, d square by dx uh, d square x divided by dt square is equal to e e divided by m then we are going towards an integration okay good afternoon this is a continuous of the expression for electrical conductivity okay next uh, we are taking an uh, integration part on integration the previous expression will become integral of d square x divided by dt square into dx dt uh, that is equal to integral of e e divided by m into d2 here dx by dt is taken as a e e divided by m into t plus c on integrating uh, integral of dx uh, dt will become t then plus c is the integral constant if uh, if you take in the ve as the dx divided by dt then uh, that is a ve is nothing but the velocity of the velocity and that is equal to e e divided t divided by m okay when the t is equal to 0 then x is equal to 0 then c will become a 0 when moving an electron collide with an iron it comes to rest and move in a random direction after a collision thank you next uh, if the mean free path is taken as lambda then the time interval between the two successive collision is taken as tau is equal to lambda divided by v. The average velocity between two successive collision is taken as dx divided by dt is equal to 1 by tau e capital E t divided by m. Then on integrating this expression, we are getting that as integral of dx divided by dt as the v and uh, integral of uh, 1 by tau e e tau divided by m can be written as here the variable is uh, t then uh, v is equal to 1 by tau e e by m into tau t square divided by 2 with an upper limit as tau and lower limit as 0 then on applying an upper and lower limit we are getting an expression 1 by tau e e m e e divided by m into tau square by 2 minus 0 and uh, here tau square and tau will get cancels we are getting a velocity as e e divided by m into tau divided by 2 thank you this video we are taking an i as the current density and n is the number of uh, electrons per unit volume then i is taken as an n e into v average then substitute the value of velocity here then we are getting that as i is equal to n e into e e tau divided by m into 2 and here it will get uh, the next expression will become 1 by 2 of n e square e divided by m into tau but tau is found to be lambda by v substitute the value then you are getting that as a of n e square e divided by m into lambda divided by v next uh, multiply and divided by the previous expression by v we are getting that as i is equal to of into n e square capital e 
lambda v divided by m v square here we are getting an m v square in the form uh, because of m v square is found to be 3 by 2 kvt and here 2 2 will get cancels then we are getting we can write in the place of m v square as the 3 kt then here uh, a red line indicates the expression uh, which is converted to 3 kt then the pre, uh, expression is taken as i is equal to 1 by 2 n e square capital e lambda v divided by in the place of m e square you can write the 3 kt then i is equal to n e square capital e lambda v divided by 3 to 6 that is kt then uh, next uh, we are taking in current density as the i i is taken as sigma into e where sigma is the electrical conductivity then uh, i in the place of i we can write the lab, uh, sigma into e is equal to n e square capital e lambda v divided by 6 kt and here capital e capital e will get cancels then we getting a expression for electric conductivity as the sigma is equal to n e square lambda v divided by 6 kt thank you this is the expression for the electrical conductivity